Now, you start actually with cleaning both your physical house and your spiritual house. And let me explain to you what that means. So when I say clean your spiritual life, get your raggedy uh, prayer life together. You know all of that in and out, all them little Peter prayers, Lord save me. That word for Peter, you better walk. You got more stuff in you than Peter had, okay? Yeah, you got, you got to go in, baby. And then when I say clean your physical houses, sometimes you all got so much stuff that's got to be moved. Wrong people in the house, demons in the house, kids flipping out. It ain't your husband, it ain't your wife, all kind of people in the house. You need to clean the spirit out. So when I say first thing, you start doing that, because here you start loosening war in that house with all that stuff in there. Baby, you're going to start having a fight. Demons going to show up. People going to start flipping out. Kids, you're going to be wondering, what is going on with everybody? Because you've loosed the war. Next is going to be repent and confess. That means just, just bring it under the blood. Confess, based on Isaiah 43 and 25. You must repent and confess. You have to. You, you, every day, you got to say, Lord, because there's so many things we do and we're not even aware of it. Korabashi. We're not aware that sometimes you're not aware that it's sin. You're not aware that you've done it. You're not sensitive to it. 